fire ground requires firefighters to complete a multitude of tasks, most of which hinge on the ability of firefighters gaining access into a structure. Conventional forcible entry is the oldest and still most versatile type of entry firefighters perform. Two firefighters mastering the following techniques, equipped with a flathead axe and a halligan bar, can generally force even the most well-secured occupancy doors in Fairfax County. The tool most synonymous with the term forcible entry is the halligan bar. Invented by FDNY Deputy Chief Hugh Halligan in 1948, the halligan bar can be found on most fire apparatus throughout the country, as well as in Fairfax County. The standard halligan bar is 30 inches long and weighs just over 8 pounds. There are many variations of this bar in today's rendition, called the Pro Bar, has further perfected Chief Halligan's original design. Paired with the Halligan Bar is the 8-pound flathead axe. It's important to identify the parts of the Halligan Bar in order to understand how to use this tool. On one end of the bar is the fork, and on the other end it has the adze and the pike. The portion of the bar that firefighters hold between both ends is called the shaft. The location where the fork and the shaft meet are called the shoulders, and the space in between the forks are called the arch. The fork, adze, and pike of the bar can be used together or independently to force open a door. All personnel must use the following commands in order to ensure consistency countywide. Hit. Strike the adze in once with the striking tool. Drive. Hit the adze in continuously with the striking tool until ordered to stop. Stop. Stop driving. The following technique should be used whether forcing an inward or outward opening door. This type of forcible entry is called shock gap set. Shock. After attempting to manipulate the door's handle, trying before we pry, the firefighter will shock the door using the fork end of the halligan bar. This firefighter hits the door in three places up high, in the center, and down below. This is performed for several reasons. First, simply shocking the door can actually force open some weaker doors. Second, shocking the door creates a purchase point used later for setting the bar in the door. And third, shocking the door allows the firefighter to size up the door, feeling for additional locking mechanisms. Gap. Gapping the door further creates the purchase point necessary to set the halligan bar farther in the door, which will aid in gaining the needed leverage to defeat its locks. To gap both the inward and outward opening door, insert the adze end into the door jam and rotate up and down, not side to side. Continue gapping the door in the up and down motion until a gap, large enough to place the bar in between the door and the jam, is created. Set. The firefighter will place either the fork or adze in into the gap. Note that the arch of this tool is marked. This is helpful to show how far the bar must be set prior to forcing open the door. Once the locking mechanisms have been defeated and the firefighters are able to open the door, controlling the door to protect firefighters preparing for entry is paramount. The baseball swing is an alternative, one firefighter method of forcing any inward opening door in a wood frame. To accomplish this, swing the pike into the jam as close to the locking mechanism as possible. Once well seated, force the adze into the door, defeating the lock or the jam.